As an American living in Germany for more than eight years, I still experience culture shocks on a daily basis. That being said, I'm gonna cover six major culture shocks in this video. Some of them are interesting, and some of them will really impact the way you live your life. If you're interested in this kind of material, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, stay tuned. Now the first major culture shock that I remember seeing when I got here in this country, and it might be a little controversial for some people, but it's gonna be pornography. Now, you can walk into a convenience store in the middle of the day and walk past little kids buying candy on their way to school, and there will be X-rated magazines uh, completely on display, uh, uncovered without the uh, plastic sheath over it. And that's kind of normal and routine. Um, you aren't gonna see billboards with nude people on them, but as far as uh, magazines and showing everything, that's normal. Here. And uh, even in a grocery store, you will see an uncovered Playboy, which I think is really interesting. And I did not show for the sake of uh, family viewers here in this uh, video series. But um, if you leave your TV on too late at night as well, you might see something that you wouldn't expect on regular TV. So you have been warned. Culture shock number two, cigarettes. It seems like everybody smokes in Germany. Now, Americans, we've more or less dropped the habit and you only see smoking in like certain situations. Um, but as far as Germans, they all smoke, it seems like. They smoke much more heavily than we do, at least. So much, in fact, that it's not uncommon that, you know, you walk outside your door in the middle of your neighborhood and you're walking your dog down the street and then you'll see a vending machine that's pranking out cigarettes. Now, rest assured, if you have small children, they don't have access to smoking because it requires a European Union style ID to swipe and then it'll actually give you your, your cigarettes once you pay for them. But it's a pretty modernized little system. So they thought this through and this isn't a relic of uh, days gone by. So yeah, smoking is, uh, is everywhere here. Culture shock number three is pork. So depending on which source you check, Germans are usually in the top five of the highest per capita pork consumers on earth. And what this means is that pretty much everywhere you go, um, when you check a menu or when you go to the store, pork is by and large the number one protein source. And this kind of has some implications on your diet, right? If you eat meat and you have uh, an aversion to pork for whatever reason, um, you'll have to you know, skim off the menu somewhere else or look at different alternatives. But that also means that they have more available uh, protein sources like duck and uh, you know, sheep and things that we're, we've kind of lost touch with back in the United States. But this even goes as far as that hackfleisch or hamburger meat is not usually a pure beef blend like we're used to with the big juicy cheeseburgers back home. The hamburger meat that they sell here, um, the number one hamburger meat is actually going to be a pork beef blend. And so it has, it has a different texture altogether. It's not bad, it's just different. So if you're expecting big juicy cheeseburgers that you can grill out in the back, you can still do that. It's just not gonna be quite what you're used to. So just keep that in mind. Culture shock number four is cash. Cash is still king in Germany. Now it's gotten a lot better in the last eight years, but there were many times where my family and I were stranded because we didn't have any Euro cash on them. Um, and that, that's a that's a habit that we formed back in the States because in the States, you know, we can pay everything with debit card. Carrying cash is really kind of a relic, right? But here in Germany, even now, there are many places that are cash only. In fact, there are a lot of restaurants that will have the ATM in front of the restaurant just so you can pull cash. Now, obviously there are reasons why, you know, Amex and Visa and they have their surcharges or whatnot for a business to operate and run um, a credit card system. But despite that, there are also many locations where you can actually, um, you can visit, but you aren't going to have access or good comms to set up an ATM machine. And I think that's really one of the major struggles because the comm infrastructure in Germany is not really what you would expect for a first world nation and uh, specifically one in Europe. That all being said, it is getting better. But I can tell you, there was a time when we were stranded, <laughs> we were stranded at the bottom of Zugspitze because we pulled into a parking space and we could not pay our parking space fee with a machine um, because we just didn't have any Euro tokens or Euro cash on us. So you've been warned, you should always carry cash on you. Culture shock number five. Now, being from Texas, this is a huge one. 
Um, last weekend, it was actually 97 degrees Fahrenheit here in Germany, and that's pretty hot. It's really, really hot when you don't have air conditioning. In fact, most places that you see that you live in or that you visit or do business in don't have AC. It's actually a selling point for a business to have AC. And that has to do with a lot of utility costs that they have here in Germany, but it's also like the environmental angle, right? A lot of businesses um, might get might pay those higher fees, but a lot of government buildings, including DOD buildings, are they're not allowed to uh, run AC, like there are restrictions for that. So outside of the medical environment, most of the DOD buildings that you work in, unless you're in a skiff or something like that, you're not gonna have air conditioning. And that also goes to on-base housing. So on-base housing, you're not allowed to have AC on, on base. So I can attest to that here. Instead, what the Germans have really figured out is they have a very elaborate window system. Their windows are very, I guess, modern compared or advanced compared to the windows that we have back home that just slide up and down. They actually have several different vent options, which is really neat and handy, but it's hard to beat having air conditioning. So central AC is not a thing here. Now you can buy these small floor uh, floor models that will, well, I said floor systems that they basically roll into a room and you can mount them up to the exhaust or to the window, but these will only cool a room. They're not going to clear cool, uh, cool an entire floor like you know a nice window unit could back at home. They're not that robust. They're pretty simple. They cost you know three four hundred euros or whatever depending on the market rate. But yeah, AC is not really a thing here. And it kind of makes the summers a little miserable sometimes, but when it does get hot, it's it's not very it's not very long. Uh, you know, the you could probably add up two weeks in total throughout the entire year where it's actually really really hot, and you might want to sleep in the basement. Culture shock number six. This is the biggest one yet, and it impacts everybody who lives here, and that's Sunday or Sonntag. Sonntag is German for Sunday, and Sunday. In Germany, everything is closed. The only thing you will hear are church bells. In fact, not only is everything closed, but everything is meant to be quiet as well. So it's a quiet day, right? And this goes as far as cutting your grass on Sunday is illegal. If your kids are too loud or you are too loud and playing loud music, they will call the polizei on you or the police. Not only that, but you think about all the activities you have and you really can't do a whole lot that you might be used to. That so that means that all your errands and you know your must dos or your honey do list it has to be taken care of on Saturday. So you really have to cram those extra things into Saturday or after work through the Monday through Friday, and that you know that really shapes the way you live your life here. It's actually kind of nice though, and yes, it has a religious origin, but the Germans are really trying to encourage you know that family time, you know that that personal time away from the hustle and bustle and shopping and all the extra stuff. Now, museums, um, you know, restaurants, anything that is uh, like an experience, those things are still open. Uh, a lot of the historic sites and whatnot, but anything that's retail is closed. Groceries, which are essentials, are actually closed, grocery stores. And most businesses, it's actually illegal to make people work on Sunday. This goes as far as the Autobahn does not allow large freight trucks on the on you know to pass or operate on Sunday. So this affects everybody. The whole country kind of shuts down every Sunday. And so it's really just quiet. It's nice, you'll get used to it. But if you can't get used to it or you have some sort of uh some things that you got to take care of, right? Some of us work long shifts, long hours. The BX is still open and so you can still kind of live that American lifestyle here, but you'll always be kind of tethered to base if you can't get over that on Sundays. So yeah, Sunday's a quiet day. It affects everybody. And um, yeah, it's kind of nice. You get used to it. So those are six major culture shocks that I've experienced while living here for the last eight years in Germany. And you'll probably see them too. I'm not going to lie. Every time I go home uh, back to the States, I'm always kind of reminded, wow, you know, things are very different here. Even though Germany and America have, uh, you know, roots, right? They, they're uh, intertwined, right? The histories of these two countries. That being said, it's part of the fun, you know, living in another country, getting to experience another culture, immersing yourself in it. And once you leave, you might, you might actually relish some of those memories. So enjoy it while you can. If you like this kind of commentary or material, please let me know, drop a comment or ask a question, hit the subscribe button and thank you for watching.